Unknown Mortal Orchestra has had a big 2015. Headline tours and high profile festival gigs have brought with them an unprecedented level of fame for the Kiwi American rock band. Please welcome Unknown Mortal Orchestra! My expectations were kind of that well, there would be progress but I think it's, um, it's kind of exploded beyond what, what anyone I was working with kind of thought. Yui Mo's six-show New Zealand tour serves as founder Ruben Nielsen's first visit home in almost two years. They played the first of two Wellington shows at the Bodega tonight, but their homecoming show was at Auckland St James on Saturday. St James was like kind of a magical thing. I always wanted to um, headline there and so, you know, playing there and selling it out and having the crowd be one of the best crowds we've ever played to is like means a lot. This year has by far been the most intense in the band's short history. UMO's latest release, Multi Love, has opened up the band to bigger audiences than ever before. But with that has come greater expectations, something Nielsen says he can struggle with. And sometimes you just gotta do certain things that are gonna make you make it make it feel remind yourself that it's supposed to be fun. For example, when UMO was set to perform to millions on US talk show Conan, Nielsen called up two Kiwi mates to play conga and bongo drums. I felt like I just need some some Kiwi buddies yeah. there to like kind of because um, sometimes I feel like a little bit like some, even when you have success, it's like you're just this like lone Kiwi surrounded by Americans. It feels a little bit surreal. This year also saw UMO headline Shepherd's Bush Empire in London, something Nielsen's wanted to do ever since supporting the Datsuns there with the Mint Chicks. Well, it's like I've achieved all my dreams now. I have to come up with new dreams. <laughs> Next year, UMO tours the US and South America with tentative plans for a new album in 2017. Ben Irwin, 3 News.